everyone so guys today i'm going to show you guys how you guys can basically your gaming rig save on resources by building a video rig such as if we're playing grand Theft Auto uh here and we want to do a live stream typically do your gaming and live stream off of your one particular computer which is the gaming rig we want to dedicate all of our resources for the gaming rig just for games okay and when it comes to live streaming recording we want to dedicate that to a actual video rig Hami is a monitor which is connected to our video rig i've been doing this for years guys years so my whole videos guys is pretty much to kind of provide you my experience of what i've learned so that way you guys can be better at what you guys do so this is our video computer uh this is the computer that i pretty much use to do all my video editing as you can see it's on a actual computer stand with some wood underneath here to give it airflow she's dusty but she works my primary issue is that she's pretty much maxed out on space internally also there's limited features you have airflow from here underneath and from rear there is no true accessible airflow to come here this is just pretty much plastic that's blocked off you do have some small vents here but it does not have fixture or mount uh, to install a fan to draw any air in from there so it is a absolutely nice beginner's case it was, it was definitely cheap what my primary goal is to take all of the computer components out of here all of the hardware just pretty much throwing into a new case i am also going to swap out that uh, amd uh, 6300 which is a six core processor and throw in the amd3 8320 uh, fx uh, processor which is the eight core processor i'm pretty sure you're quite familiar with the terminology of cores when it comes to cpu we got six cores that's currently in here uh, we're gonna replace that cpu for eight core processor gonna give a little juice a little more juice What I'm going to do is pretty much uh, this computer case has got the Phillips screws. Unscrew these two Phillips screws, remove the side panel case or side panel cover, and then start breaking this bad boy down. So we got our thermal take. Uh, this is the TR2 600 watt power supply. We have our Elgato gaming capture card graphics card which is the msi 370 that is a four gigs card do have a eight gigs card but this computer case is just way too small for it to be honest this 370 it's it's working as expected it's working fine it's able to handle the demands uh for adobe premiere so you know, I'm not going to put it in there. I'm just leave it as it is. So this hard drive is just a regular, I think it's a 250 SATA drive here. There's actually a solid state drive here. And I think that's a 250 solid state drive. You guys can barely see her in there. We got some RAM. It's nothing fancy, but it does equal out to 16 gigs. We have our AMD uh, FX uh 6300 cpu that's underneath our heatsink uh we're going to upgrade that to a amd fx 8320 which is the eight core cpu all right so that's just the name of few of what's going on in this computer case as far as our uh, computer hardware specs now make no mistake uh this computer case is small but it's still doable uh for any other computer build stuff of that nature so this is our gaming capture card it's the hd60 pro take these both hard drives out so i can get access to
This is a absolutely beauty. This is a 500 gig solid state drive. It says 250. Ah, shot myself in the foot on that one. So we got all of that out. Let's go ahead and remove our video card. Go down the tab. Now this thing, it's it's a tedious process to get this out. So I have to kind of flip it a little, maneuver it back and forth. And disconnect the cable. So on the back. See if I can do it this way. There we go. I don't want to pull any pins or damage anything. MSI 370, a four gigs graphics card. Man, I had this thing for years and it works perfectly fine. Only thing that I did was replace the thermal paste um, on here and pretty much cleaned out the heat sink, fans, and she still works absolutely wonderful. So I'm gonna remove the memory. Pushing down on the memory. Let them them out of there. Again, it's nothing really special about this memory. Let's remove this fan at the bottom. We'll remove this fan because that's in the way of my uh, CPU. So I can't remove the CPU until I remove the fan. So right here, this is our motherboard power from our power supply. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. Okay. Mm. This one's always tedious because this computer case Ooh, there we go. Uh, right here, this is a cable for our, provides power for our CPU from the power supply. We'll just run all our power supply cables out of the case. So that way I can know everything's disconnected. All right, what I need to do is take a picture of my uh, of the way that my cables are going for case like far as the power button power reset speaker um, stuff of that nature i want to know exactly how these wires at the bottom are going Let's move this cable out the way so that way we can see actually we can just disconnect our sata cables so I see the cables have been disconnected. So if we kind of zoom in a little bit. So as we can see, this is our internal speaker wire. That's pretty much for like the computer beeps. This is power switch, power LED plus and negative. All right, so power LED plus and negative is in the front. I'm gonna take a picture. So this is our USB right here. We can go ahead and remove that. So as you can see, that's USB. So that's power. Let's see if I can gently remove this. There we go. Let's see if I can gently remove this one. These are all coming from the computer case. So each computer case that you get, they have their own separate cables. Hard drive, LED indicator light. Now last but not least is our switch reset. So that's the power reset switch. So now let's go ahead and remove this motherboard. It's just like you're working on a car in a tight spot. You always will take your magnetified, well, your magnetized uh, tool, correction, magnetized tool. There's a, like a plastic um, portion here. So I'm going to gently remove this motherboard. Again, it's so jammed, I got to maneuver around to get this motherboard out. Get 
Last but not least, this is our MSI 970 SLI Carrot Edition Motherboard. She works, she gets the job done, absolutely no complaints. For my gaming computer, I have the same thing, the MSI 970, but it's the Gaming Edition uh, motherboard. The last thing I am removing is going to be our power supply. going to also gently remove this from the case uh, this computer case is empty empty now I do not run any uh, DVD drive CD drives in my video computer uh, because I pretty much install all software especially like the operating system you can pretty much download that from Microsoft and put it to USB and install Windows 10 and other operating systems and you know other software is pretty much you purchase online and download it so there's truly no need for me to actually have a dvd or cd drive in a video or editing a computer unless i'm buying a software from a store uh, that does not have it on a uh i guess you could call it electronical download format so the last thing i just noticed is that we have to remove our io shield so we can just pretty much push her out and there we go. Transfer this IO shield to our new computer. All right, guys, we have ourselves a new computer case. Absolutely wonderful computer case. It's like a, a temperature glass. Let's look at this bad boy. Oh man, I can't wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Oh my goodness. Gotta be careful though, because it's, it's got that temperature glass. So I'm gonna just put that right there. But just wait till you see this. Man, this is gonna be absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's got the temperature glass. Uh, it comes with uh, two stock case fans, but we got some. This is it RGB fans going on? Um, some custom, custom fans. It's got a, a white finish to it. So I, I might leave it white and I might, I might paint it, but I'm not too sure. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think I might leave it white because it's going to be going near a wall that's white. So it will, more so blend in a little bit more better. But uh, this is what the case actually looks like. It's it's beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful. Temperature glass, this is the front, it's ventilated. Top is also ventilated. Bottom is also ventilated, of course, ventilation from your back. So you got the absolutely proper airflow. And I can't wait, I just can't wait. So you can get one of these cases, computer case for like 60 bucks, man, 60 bucks. Once you see the finished product, you're not gonna, you're not gonna believe that's just a $60 case. My case, when it comes to my airflow, um, I got air that's being draw, driven in to the case. Uh, of course, this is pushing the air out. Um, this is pushing the air there uh, and the airflow there. Um, so cool in, out. Everybody's got their own way of airflow. To me, it's all based on your preference, all based off what you see, your measurements, but to a, a typical gamer or computer person, you know, they're just gonna go with whatever the default is. Wonderful Husky. This thing I use it on, um, cutting towel and stuff of that nature. Tight spot. Right. Gotta get them done. I usually try to cut away. In the event that the knife slips, it will, whoosh, you know, it'll, whoosh, instead of whoop, going straight towards you, you know. If you open up anything, cut away. 
not cut two, cut away. Cause this thing is, it's sharp. It's sharp. Put this bad boy back in here. Of course, this is also, it's, it's, it's weird how they have this, these like these holes in here. Like I can touch the blade here and here. It just doesn't make sense. I would have, you know, have this completely closed but I, I somewhat understand, such as if you're cutting something wet, you don't want that moisture to stay in there because then it'll, you know, rush down the blade and stuff of that nature. But it's a replaceable blade, so it still doesn't make sense, you know? It doesn't make sense, Husky. It does not make sense, but I love it. I absolutely love it. Pop that down. Close her up. Good to go. It's awkward to get this damn thing out the box. Ugh, this damn styrofoam always makes you want to get shocked if you touch metal so this is the computer here we're gonna go ahead and get all of this electric shock stuff off uh, of course formerly known as styrofoam ouch i shot myself let's go ahead and do this again Ugh. i'm gonna just hold it by the plastic this time man. Whew, there we go we, we got her done More stuff that's make you shock yourself. There we go. This is absolutely cool. Let's get this bad boy over here. Let's check it out. Just look at that. That is beautiful, man. Let me get this in the right picture for you guys. Man, that is beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. The temperature glass, uh, vent on top, uh, which this is pretty much the screen that you can take off uh, and clean. It's a dust mat screen. Wonderful. It comes with a, uh, a stock fan that's already here. For some reason they have it mounted like way below, but I'm gonna put, move this fan up some so that way it'll be like flush here. At the bottom, you'll add your power supply. It's also got ventilation at the bottom for your power supply fan. I uh, got your bays for graphics cards, sound cards, game capture cards, you know, whatever cards that you want to add. This is for your IO shield. Pretty much showed you guys earlier. IO shield. That will go there. Man, this is going to look beautiful, man. God. You want to kind of be careful because not all the time. You got to use the bathroom? All right, let's go upstairs.